everybody. This week, our story is called Miriam Hides Moses. It's the story of Moses' mother and sister helping to hide him from Pharaoh. The Hebrews living in this nation grew and grew in population. Selfish Pharaoh, so very cruel, wrote a truly awful rule. Because you are too big a crowd, no more baby boys allowed. One Hebrew family, full of joy, had just welcomed a baby boy. Mother took some grass and leaves and made a basket to set in the reeds. She put her baby snug inside and took him to the riverside. Miriam found a spot to hide. She wouldn't leave her brother's side. When Pharaoh's daughter came to bathe and saw the basket in the waves. Miriam saw the princess meant no harm as she rocked the baby in her arms. Shall I get a nurse, perhaps, to care for the baby in your lap? Pharaoh's daughter answered, please. So Miriam ran through the trees. When mother came to where they were, the Pharaoh's daughter hired her to care. One day, when baby boy was grown, Mother walked him to Pharaoh's throne. The princess spoke aloud and said, I found him in the riverbed. So Moses is to be his name, and I will love him all the same, as though this boy were born to me, adopted now to royalty. This year, we remember that God calls us to light the world and we are to find ways to let our light shine. Moses' mother, his sister, and the Pharaoh's daughter each let their light shine by doing something brave. Sometimes our faith requires us to do things because they're right and good for others. Sometimes an act of bravery is a way of being faithful to God. Something that makes you a little nervous, like singing a song for the Christmas musical at church or saying hello to someone new, are brave ways to let your light shine. This week, do an interview with your family with one big question. What's the bravest thing you've ever done? Then check out the link included here for a fun activity. Have you ever been inside a church with stained glass pictures? They sometimes tell stories of people in the Bible who did brave things and had been faithful even in difficult circumstances. So included here is a picture that you can fill in to make your own stained glass story with someone you know who has let their light shine by doing something brave. Let us close with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. See you next time.